Hi folks, welcome back to Widow's Astro Forum and thanks so much for tuning in. Last week I made a video about how to remote control your astrophotography gear using an ASI Air Plus. Last week on Widow's Astro Forum. If only there was such a wireless device that could control all of your astro gear. That would be something. That wireless device, it already exists and it's called the ASI Air Plus. I got a lot of positive comments on that video, so thanks so much, but also some suggestions and questions, and I wanted to address that in this follow-up video. Without further ado, let's go. So the first question, or actually suggestion, came from Astro Jeff 717 Astro Jeff suggested to power up the ASI Air Plus by using the 12 volt power output I have on my ZWO AM5 mount. I think that's an excellent suggestion, so thank you, Jeff. So if you own that harmonic on the drive mount, the ZWO AM5, you will see that there is a 12 volt power output on that mount. You can use a cable to actually use that power output to power up the ASI Air Plus. I would highly recommend to do it like that because it saves you from having to use an external power source. So in my previous video, I also checked out the Wi-Fi range of the ASI Air app. And so from my balcony, I came to about 10 to 20 meters, 30 to 60 feet if you live in the US. And Mavasi, if I pronounce your name correctly made an excellent suggestion he suggested to use what is called the station mode in the ASI Air app so let me try to explain what that is when you're standing next to your telescope on your balcony or in your garden you can actually use station mode to connect the Wi-Fi signal of the ASI Air Plus wirelessly to your home Wi-Fi network and what that does is when those two uh, signals are actually connected you are not limited to that 10 or 20 meters or 30 to 60 feet uh, wherever you have access to your home Wi-Fi network, you can log into the ASI Air app and just look at the live status of all of your astro gear and your imaging camera, your images and so on. So in the previous video, I also showed you that I mounted my ASI Air Plus on the side of the ZWO AM5 using the saddle option. And I didn't run into any issues, but I know ZWO doesn't recommend that particular mount to be used in combination with the ASI Air Plus. Well, I got some reactions, especially from Heavy Johnny. So hello, Heavy Johnny, if you're watching, um, he said that, yeah, uh, I found out the hard way, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, uh, that you shouldn't uh, use that particular solution because uh, apparently he crashed some of his Astro gear or he ran into a cable snag. Um, have you Johnny, hopefully most of your Astro gear is working still and hopefully you didn't suffer too much damage. I actually ordered a new saddle. I will put it on top of my telescope to avoid such a collision. In the previous video, I compared using the ASI Air Plus to a mini PC to remote control your Astro gear. And I actually showed you my personal mini PC, which was the HP Elite Desk. And a lot of you, for instance, uh, Bronkov, uh, you suggested to look into a Mali PC or Mili PC. I will put a link in the video description below. But actually, that is a much smaller form factor uh, Windows-based PC as compared to the HP Elite Desk I showed you in the video. So that's a very nice suggestion. And uh, yeah, of course, such a small form factor PC can be mounted on a telescope mount or on your telescope. So that's awesome. At the same time, I think it doesn't fundamentally change on how I operate my Astro gear using my bigger mini PC. But thanks for the suggestion. I will put that Mali PC link in the video description below. So a lot of you folks also complained about the fact that a lot of your Astro gear won't connect to the ASI Air Plus. For instance, Clive Roberts, hello Clive, if you're watching, uh, said that, hey, I'd be interested in a device like the ASI Air Plus, but uh, unfortunately my QHI and Altair cameras won't connect to the ASI Air. And uh, last week I also showed you that my Oasis autofocuser, so an autofocuser from a different brand, was not recognized by the ASI Air Plus. We can safely say that ZWO is very much a commercial company. It's creating their own Astro gear and their own closed ecosystem, right? So we have 
CWO telescope mounts, cameras, filter wheels, autofocusers, uh, and now also this closed ecosystem running on devices like the ASI Air Plus, where you can run your CWO gear smoothly and remotely um, at the same time, we all remember the 90s when there were a lot of open source and there still are a lot of open source projects where people have this collaborative spirit and of course they share their coding to the community and that's also how ASCOM was created and that's also how a lot of free astro photography software is created but uh, i'm not especially mad at zwo you can still use a mini pc you can still use that open source software and i see zwo more as an iphone company like it's an extra option to remote control your astrophotography gear but let me know what you think in the comment section below because i think this stirs up a lot of emotions so some folks also suggested i should take a look at k stars and equals on the indie platform so I did a little bit, so if I'm correct, K-STARS is a kind of a, a planetarium, a real-time representation of the night sky to actually find objects in the night sky. Um, and then EGOS is an astrophotography tool. I think much like Nina or Secrets Generator Pro or some other astrophotography tool you can use to remote control your astro gear. And then we have Indy, which is not Windows-based. It's another type of platform. You can run, the, run Indy on very small mobile devices like a Raspberry Pi. So please correct me if I got it all wrong. I was thinking oh, this whole process sounds a lot like using a mini PC to me. So you're going to install Indie as a platform on a small device like the Raspberry Pi. You're going to install Ecos and K-Stars. And there was one device called the StellarMate. It was actually more like a plug and play device, but uh, I think the, the, the real difference now is that the ASI Air Plus, when you switch it on, it has all the astrophotography software already pre-installed. You can immediately use it without having to install a platform, without having to install all kinds of separate programs. The difference is not only that the ASI Air is a plug and play device, um, because I could state, hey, I have a mini PC, I'm going to install all the software I need on that mini PC, or I'm going to install all the software I need on an indie device like a Raspberry Pi. And then I, when the software is up and running, I have a similar experience. I actually don't think that is the case. Why not? Well, because uh, ZWO worked hard on creating a very user-friendly mobile interface. So you see a lot of icons, a lot of big screens. The whole interface is touch-based. It's designed to be touch-based, to be used on a phone or a tablet. Whereas when I'm running Nina or Secret Generator Pro, or maybe also Ecos, even when I log in from my phone to that mini PC, because you can do that. You can use your phone or your tablet, and you can then log in to your mini PC or your Raspberry Pi, and you will see Secret Generator Pro, you will see Nina, you see Ecos, but all of those user interfaces, I think at least, are more designed towards having a big screen and having a mouse to click on the top menus and those top menus, they will fold out and you will have sub menus, you click those sub menus, very much designed, I, I'd say like the 90s still. So I think that's another main difference that when you're going to use a mobile device or a tablet, you're going to have this positive touch-based user experience uh, with the ASI Air uh, Plus. So let's move on to some other comments. For instance, Marcel Post 4052, he really liked the review. So thank you, Marcel. But at the same time, he said, please keep the damn music down. The volume is just too loud. So Marcel, I will try to do so in my next videos. Thanks for the feedback. Uh, Darren Cashel 6285 asked me what kind of refactor I showed in the previous video. Well, that was my telescope service photo line F6 apochromatic telescope. It had 80 millimeter aperture, 480 focal length telescope. It's a German telescope. Um, and also some folks asked me to do a review on my ZWO ASI 2600 Mono Pro. I will definitely do that in the future. 
So let me finish by showing you a picture of the hard nebula I was able to take using that ASI 2600 Mono Pro camera and using the ASI Air Plus as a capturing device. Uh, by the way, I will upload a high resolution image of that hard nebula for my Astro Coffee supporters. You can download that high resolution picture if you support the channel for $2.99 a month. Um, also, I will upload my narrowband stacked images so you can practice post-processing that hard nebula using the same data I used to get to the picture I'm about to show you and I will work on my planetary imaging course for my Astro Coffee supporters. I will upload a new video this week so thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.